I have started my career from tourism. I would say that I started my journey from the tourism sector. I, I would say the hospitality sector itself, and my passion to do something in the uh, in the healthcare and tourism sector since then. Hello and welcome to another edition of Nepal Travel Trade Talk with Nepal Traveller. Today we are at the office of our esteemed guest, Dr. Ishwar GC, who is the chairman of the GC Group. They are a conglomerate in a number of businesses in Nepal. They are at the forefront and they are now in the tourism doing a couple of meaningful things. And so we'll have a conversation and see how that goes and his uh, journey into tourism and his ideas. Welcome to Ashwa, sir. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. So to start with, maybe you could introduce to our audience uh, about the group, uh, how this group has been and uh, a little bit about its background. Uh, okay. Uh, like, you know, 40 years ago, my father, he started the business with one co small cotton factory. What I did that, I didn't continue that business, but I started with new other era, new businesses, new ventures. And yes, the GC group, I would say that established back in 1984, uh, but I like uh, I re-established or I like I, I, I would say that I make rebranding and I established with a couple of other businesses and I made a group just uh, a while ago. Yes, and you've also expanded the portfolio of the group. You're in yeah. FMCG, in yeah. medical yeah, supplies. Yeah. That is the thing. That is the thing, sir. I'm not into that business, what my father started. You have diversified yeah, it have, and expanded yes, it. Yes, that, that's right. So now we are in the FMCG. We are in the medical uh, devices yes. manufacturer. We are in the hospitality. We are in many other education. We are in like, you know, we are coming into the hotels and resorts now. We are focusing in that as well, in the hospitality sector. Yeah. So you've also been a part of the FNCCI in a leadership role and yeah. would you like yeah. to share a little bit about how the business environment and the business community of Nepal is? Yeah, I think the Nepal is a small market. It's not that very big market, uh, market comparing to the, our you know, neighbor countries. But I think that Nepal is one of the emerging country, especially in the hospitality and like in healthcare and uh, some other services sectors. Uh, because like uh, Nepalese people are very humble. They are very... Uh, like uh, honest and they are very loyal as well so the people from the abroad they really like to visit our countries so the hospitality sector i would say as the tourism sector overall tourism sector is uh, like improving nowadays so in this case i would say manufacturing sector is, is still need a lot of uh, new policy to enhance new investment or a big mega investment we have to welcome the mega investment from the other countries as well as uh, FDI and even our uh, local entrepreneur or local investor has to um, come up with a big vision, big mm -hmm. investment. Uh, in this case, like, you know, our FNCCI also working very closely with the Nepal government to make uh, new policies, uh, enhance the new policy and, uh, you know, give some facility to the new uh, startup companies and some investment. big uh, investment as well. So FNCCI is one of the, you know, one of the uh, uh, private umbrella organization. I would say not one of the organization. I would say FNCCI is the umbrella organization of the private sector. So they are really uh, working closely with the Nepal government to make it, uh, you know, better investment environment in Nepal. So yeah, I'm into you know one committee as well as a. Uh, co-chair and we are working on it. So, so you mentioned about tourism and a number of uh, big business houses are looking at investing into tourism because the future is tourism and Nepal's uh, strength is probably tourism. How did you come about to thinking of entering into tourism? I have started my career from tourism. I would say that because my, as I said, my father was a businessman. My grandfathers were not businessmen. They were a social worker. And but for me, like, you know, I started my journey from the tourism sector, I, I would say the hospitality sector itself and my passion to do something in the 
uh, in the healthcare and tourism sector since then. When I was 22 years old, I started my business, but not in the tourism sector, in some other sectors. And but now I'm thinking to fulfill my dream. You know, I'm planning to fulfill my dream uh, to uh, do something in our country itself in the hospitality and um, medical sector, especially in the two sector. Our group is enhancing, our, our group is expanding our investment, our group is looking forward to do something better, something good, uh, in two, especially in two sectors. Of course, we are in the uh, other sectors as well, in the hospital, in the hydropower, and in FMCG. some other service, yeah, some other service sector businesses. But our uh, major wings, our major, uh, you know, portfolio will be the uh, in hospitality sector and medical uh, sector in upcoming days. So, so with the lemon tree that has recently come into Nepal, now they've established a hotel. You are one of the uh, stakeholders promoters, and yeah. promoters. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share some of the in background to that? So we had established that a while ago, but uh, that was uh, established by one of our big groups, right? So, um, GC group is one of the promoter there. And we were tr trying to give, you know, good service, or uh, we are trying to give the extraordinary service to the, especially to Nepalese and Indian communities or Indian, uh, you know, clients, right? So in this, uh, in this scenario, we, uh, you know, we were planning to do our, like, you know, uh, the company name is Brandil Country Heritage. The, you know, owning company name is Brandil Country Heritage. We were trying to do uh, everything by the Brandil Country Heritage, but later on, what we decided, like, if we are planning to welcome the international guests and we are trying to give the international services to the clients we should have our you know good name from the international uh, brand itself so we welcome the lemon tree premier uh, or one of the like emerging brand of yes. india so we welcome them as a partner as a management team you know management partner i would say so they are doing very good and they have a very good network in india and they are really emerging brand of India itself. So we are doing like, you know, very good business initially itself. Still, we have to, like, we haven't done any you know, grand opening yeah. so far, even though we are our, you know, whoever is staying there or whoever is visiting there, their, you know, feedback is amazing, you know, because it's not that very far from the city and it is not inside the city itself, exactly. right? So from the city, you can just reach there in 10 to 15 minutes sometime. Yeah. And like you will feel the feeling uh, of that you know place or that property is like you are in somewhere you know in the mountain or somewhere like that, right? Uh, so in this case, like the clients uh, you know need different flavor, right? True. So they want to go, they want to you know go a little bit away from home to have you know uh, refreshment and but they don't want to travel a lot, you know, long journey itself. Just like short drive. Short drive. Get away. So yeah, in this case, for them, it is the best choice. So I think the lemon tree will do very good in upcoming days. So sir, the first property has already started operations yeah. in Buran. Yeah, yeah. Are there also plans for other lemon tree properties to be in? I would say that, you know, not lemon tree, but we are opening or we are trying to, you know, GC Group is trying to uh, do something bigger project in Nagarkot. Uh, with the international brand Another itself, brand. right? Another, maybe it would be lemon tree or uh, uh, it might be some other brand as well. So we are trying to do in the, you know, in the resort flavor. I, I would say we are trying to make the resort itself, international resort with good environment and it's, you will feel the totally resort vibe, you know, resort feel. Relaxed, Relaxed and luxury. And, uh, luxuries and resorts. And I mean, see, I would say if you go there, if you will go there with the families, you will have everything. Uh, in Nagarkot is still now, that kind of properties is not, not there, there okay. right? So we are planning to give some, you know, uh, different flavor as well with everything in one umbrella. Right. So if you go there, you will enjoy at least two, three days in the Relax resort itself. Way. Right. You will not feel bored or something like that. So we are planning to make that mega project. We are trying to make the you know luxury resort. Yeah. So that is our uh, up upcoming project. So how do you see the tourism industry, the hospitality sector post COVID? Because now so many international brands are coming. There seems to be a lot of interest. Yeah, you are right. Like, you know, you are absolutely right. Like now the international tourism are really increasing uh, like you know, government are expecting 
to welcome 1.5 million tourism in upcoming years. So now, like you know, last year they reached up to 1.2 million. Uh, and there are many international chain hotels, hotels and uh, they are really interested to come over here. And our, our like, you know, I think, I think, and you know, data speaks that as well. Uh, our hotels uh, capacities to uh, give the service to 2.5 million tourism, right? So far, yes, at and the still, moment, yeah, at the moment itself, yes. and there are still hotels are coming. coming. So in this case, how the new hotels will survive? How? What about the you know previous properties? What they you know uh, in which situation they will go through? Right, that is the question. That is very good question that you ask. But I think like the people of Nepal itself, they have started to you know explore. They have started to you know visit. And they have started to you know do something you know new thing yeah. right uh, so if we can just grab even Nepalese tourism itself and if we can give them good facility to them and if we can give them international flavor to them in yeah. domestic you know in our country itself i think still there are you know still there is more opportunity For in hotels. the hospitality sector and the hotel sector also it, it still it will be really you know improve a lot so your group is also involved with the booking whiz yeah which is a solution for all hotels yeah, uh, yeah, software yeah, yeah, yeah. would you like to speak about that yeah for sure like the booking is uh, booking whiz is one of our uh, you know company uh, one of our really you know uh, emerging company i would say again and this is you know, working with a you know closely with the hotels now we have like more than 62 hotels you know we are w working with them so this we are uh, uh, Nepal is still like you know Nepal has plan sector or hotel hotels are still not modernized or they are not you know still they haven't started uh, you know by in the IT they haven't started not to, using enough technology yeah enough yes. technology say so. I, I would say that, that uh, they haven't adopted the new technology to enhance their business or promote their businesses right so the the world is has been changed what has been changed especially the hotels you know uh, they have to change because it's in the hospitality sector it is service sector itself so they have to give the new service they have to give different service they have to you know uh, make the clients you know like you know they have to make clients very happy, happy. with the new technology with a new service with a new uh, you know property with uh, you know, everything yeah, has everything up, right? has to be maintained. So without technology, now you cannot do anything. And booking wheels is the solution for those hotels. Like we give them premium solution, we give them all the solution of ITs, like you know, booking manage, you know, booking Managing. management. Like you know, we say booking manager, booking manager, loyalty program, CRM, channel manager. There are many product that we are providing to the hotels. Like you know, if uh, you know, uh, for an example, that you know, there are some hotels still they haven't started the booking.com. I mean, some of the you know, booking, yeah, yeah, yes. the OTS, we say the OTS, OTS to them, yeah, yes. they haven't even started OTS. How you know, it will be very hard for them to you know, do the businesses in upcoming days if they don't apply, if they don't you know, uh, you know, follow the you know, uh, international trend. Right, True. so we are giving that solution to them. For them, it will be very costly if they make their own, you know, uh, all those uh, systems, systems right? But we have our own systems. That is UK-based company. So GC Group is the, uh, you know, uh, agency of Nepal and Bhutan and some other countries as well. So we are really, uh, you know, expanding our business and we are supporting the hotels to, you know, uh, increase their sales and increase. Uh, their you know service and increase their you know standard so booking is is really focusing on that and it's been like five years we are in uh, nepal and i think we are doing amazing job for them especially the mid uh, you know label hotels they are really uh, you know getting that uh, systems in a very cheap uh, price so that is you know one of the uh, i would say that gc group or booking is is helping them to, to you know uh, improve so also uh, in the next few years post covid uh, where do you see nepal as a destination moving to and what what do you think is important for hospitality people tourism airlines to be doing so that we get more tourists in 
uh, as, as a country? Yeah, I think uh, it's like, you know, not only the private sector, I would say the government has to think about it as well. So, till when we will sell Mount Everest? Till when? And it's already overcrowded. See, it's already overcrowded. We have to respect Mount Everest as well, right? We have to respect Mount Everest. It means anyone coming to visit Mount Everest or Nepal, we have to give them a really better service, you know, and it starts from the airport itself, right? So the Nepal government and private sector, we have to work together on it. They have to make the very, you know, like, I would say the mega project or, you know, big airport with a international standard. And from that, our, like, you know, our door is open or our, we are welcoming them from the airport itself. So if we don't have good airport, if we don't have the good road, if we don't have the, you know, good place to, you know, visit, yes. right? We have a very, you know, very, uh, like, you know, very world, and very historical heritages. But not only that, the way to reach those beautiful heritages. It's you know, the way yeah, it's challenging, right? So why we are not thinking to improve that roads? Why we are not thinking to you know make something better destinations? Right? So like we have many, many mountains for even for the hiking. Just, you know, around the Kathmandu itself. Yes. If we make very good, you know, a track for that. So, so this, this will be another product for Nepal, right? So that will be respect to the Mount Everest itself. Again, I'm, I would say, right? So the country of Mount Everest, it cannot be just, Only you know, yeah, like that, right? We have to make it really good. We have to make, you know, uh, really different in, even in the development sector with huge respect to the Mount Everest we should do something better, uh, you know, from the government sector, from the private sector, or jointly, we have to work together to make it better country. We are a very good country, but we can still make better country if we really work, you know, in the development sector, right? Especially in the airport, road, is these are the infrastructure, uh, yeah, infrastructure two things. And we have to give more facilitation or mo more facility to the airlines company to welcome big flights right and we have to make other like you know domestic good uh, airports so the even the big flights can you know land. Uh, land there so if we work only two three you know uh, points uh, if we work on two three points or if we work in these sectors right the tourism sector will be that really you know amazing in upcoming days and country can really get you know um, uh, benefits, benefits from that, you know, yes. not only like, you know, uh, tourism sector, about 9% we are contributing in GDP, right? For me, I would say it's not enough. We have to make it at least 30%. And we can do that in 10 to 15 years. If we work in only that, those three, uh, you know, developing uh, infrastructure, developing infrastructure increasing. And because Nepal is very secure, you know, it's very secure. We are very People honest, warm, I would say, know. warm, right? And so, this is the asset for Nepal. And the Mount Everest, as I said, this is the head for us, right? So if we only work on some new development, if we work on this, um, still we can have like, you know, how many other five-star hotels, maybe more 100 five-star hotels in upcoming 50 years. I would say 15, in you know, 50 years, because it still can go. Yeah, and after that, you know, the government will uh, focus or government has to focus in, uh, you know, sport tourism, medical tourism, Right. There are other sectors still need to introduce. Yes. Introduce, I would say, like in cricket, we are very good in cricket. If we can, you know, introduce the uh, in, yeah. yeah, if we can introduce just like with a good stadium, right? Yeah. Very mega, like in a, you know, we can if we can uh, start with a mega uh, stadium and we welcome India and Pakistan teams to play here. Can you imagine, you know, what will be the impact globally? True. Yeah. So that is in the uh, uh, sports, right? Even in the education, like if we open international schools here and we welcome the international, you know, students. Right? Because in the weather, it's very good, right? International students really will love Enjoy. to come, right? And even cost-wise also, we are very good. 
right? Mm -hmm. So, we, uh, so we can still, you know, we can still work on it, and we can uh, see the new chapter, and we can uh, we can you know uh, open the new chapter for the country itself. Right? So, the tourism sector is the big sector for Nepal. Is the I would say the diamond for Nepal. Yeah. So also, uh, you are from the private sector. You are among the top uh, companies, groups. Do you feel that the private sector perhaps needs to come together more for tourism and put more pressure on the government? Let's have a master plan. Let's work on things. Uh, yeah, you are right. You are right. They are uh, quite happy, quite happy to work with uh, you know the private sector. They are really working together with the private sector, but still need. Uh, still need a lot of work. Still need positive in energy from the government sector. I would say because still they have not given that positive energy to the private sector, uh, and private sector is not feeling that good vibe. Still, you know, from the you know, still we need more positive vibes and positive direction and positive you know uh, uh, approach from the government sector. So, as a final question. What would you see as the the immediate future where the GC Group will be focusing in terms of tourism? Yeah, GC Group will focus in two sector, right? Uh, along with other sector as well. Uh, the two sector, as I told you just you know uh, while ago, the one is hospitality sector, and hospitality se tourism sector. I would say the tourism sector is like hotel and resort would be our uh, mega project in com upcoming days. Uh, international, uh, we will welcome the international chain, international five-star resort and five-star hotel. One is our major project with that. Uh, and, and another one is the medical device manufacturer. We want to give the better medical devices in Nepal itself and we are producing that, right? So we are producing syringes and many other products. But uh, in upcoming days, we are planning to have many more medical devices as to the, you know, our Nepali you know, uh, citizen to get that uh, you know, better product of their own country. So, in uh, coming back to the uh, hospitality sector, a tourism sector, I would say that the hotel and resort is our main focus. sector and main focus. And together, we have our booking waste company, which is the IT company that I. So, uh, we are supporting the mid-level hotels to improve their. You know, uh, service improve their you know uh, system to uh, make it better, uh, right? You know, so we are uh, giving that service to them in a very reasonable price to them to enhance their service. So that will be our uh, focus in the hospitality sector in coming days. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Thank uh, you for having. Thank us you here. so much, and thank, thank you so much for coming here.